This is Foley, my newly maxed account, and after maxing, I have the desire to obtain some of the rarest items in the game, and I'm going to do it one boss at a time. Once I pick a boss, I'm stuck there until I receive one of the rarest items from that boss. For example, killing the King Black Dragon until I receive either the pet at a rate of 1 in 3,000 kills, or the Draconic Visage at a rate of 1 in 5,000 kills. Follow me on this journey as I take steps into some of the longest, or luckiest, grinds yet. Welcome to Spooned or Doomed. Okay, Editor Foley here just for a quick announcement before we get started with the video that I have opened up my own clan chat. It is called Amore Mio, so anyone is free to join. It is... Oh, get that tree out of my way. Anyone is free to join. It's just going to be a social clan mainly to hang out in and have some fun. I do plan on hosting some events in the future once I get back up on my feet after this Tebow rebuild. And uh, yeah, we already got 12 members in, so feel free to join in as a guest. And if you want to be a member, just uh, find me, JRJ, or Unlucky Soup, and we should be able to get you in. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and thank you for watching. In the last episode, I camped Zora for like uh, 700 kills-ish, and we ended up getting the mutagen. But in today's video, we are going back to the Leviathan. I camped this boss when it first came out and got almost 1,500 kills going for the Venator Vestige, where I believe I was ranked 267 at the time um, for Leviathan. We can see that I am still currently ranked 1995 so we're going to be climbing up them just ranks a little bit because the goal of today's video is to obtain the little viathan that being said i am going to take that money that i made from zora and we are going to buy ourselves the web weaver bow again i got 34 mil in the bank oh it's like 13 almost 14 mil but with that we pretty much have all of our equipment ready for the leviathan grind i'm just going to be using a t-bow and this web weaver during the uh, final phase of the fight all right 1000 prayer potions and we'll go with 200 divine ranging pots for now and uh yeah yeah, that should do us in for a good little bit we got 4.6 mil ish to our name now and uh we are ready for this leviathan grind all right i believe this is the inventory i'm going to be uh taking i might adjust it but yeah i haven't been to leviathan in a while so it might take uh, a little bit to get back into the groove of things but i don't think it should be too hard oh dude they did add the uh they did add a uh, combat task to this now so that might be something i look into to try to at least get most of them like the speed times i'm not necessarily going for it so if i get it i will get it and i'm we're definitely not doing the awaken leviathan you can get out of here with that for right now but yeah i'm going to try to fill out this combat task because a, another one of my uh i guess not short-term goals but a goal that i want to get in the future is to get the elite combat achievements done so knocking off some as i go throughout these bosses to get the pet and stuff will uh, help do that along the way the only one i will really have to go for is killing the leviathan with only mithril ammunition while having no more than 25 hp throughout the entire fight so that is a uh, you know I, I i'm i'm yeah we'll, we'll see about that one we'll see about that one but all these other ones seem pretty doable and there is the first kill and we got the serpentine solo which uh i believe that is the one where you uh only stun it once because i only did stun it once i was kind of going for that but now we can just chill hey we got the speed trial list let's go orb Oh, we got the perfect Leviathan combat achievement. I think that's, uh, you have to get like five perfect kills in an instant. It doesn't have to be in a row, I don't think, with these bosses. Yeah. Orb, 991k, that is fucking disgusting. Ew. Oh my god. And yeah, I am, uh, just AFK. And if I'm AFK on my computer, uh, editing or whatever the like, I am going to be either chopping redwoods or right now I'm actually, um, on the grind to get all the champion scrolls so i figured i might as well afk some zombies these new armored zombies from the defender of varrock quest to uh try to get that champion scroll as well as the uh, broken zombie axe piece and you know get a couple of collection log slots out of the way oh there's the broken zombie axe how many uh how many did i kill let's see 316 zombies so we're like uh 
under the rate by over half so that that's pretty nice to have the collection log slot for it i also have three hard clues uh, stacked up right now but i'm still editing the video so we're gonna keep going okay editing is done on the phone i am usually grinding out these champion scrolls so i had the hobgoblin one back from when i was doing bandos and i recently got the goblin champion scroll and the giants uh champion scroll recently so killing these zombies is uh another one of the champion scrolls that i need but i think i will be done with the armored ones since i got the uh, zombie axe piece so uh next time i go and kill zombies it'll probably be just the regular ones where i can like cannon them and stuff and also if you hear that dinging it is uh i downloaded a new plugin that uh makes a sound when uh like uh clues drop on the ground or like uniques that are worth uh, more than a certain threshold amount so so i am a little more comfortable with the fight now that i've been back at it for a little bit so we're gonna try out this unconventional uh ca uh, need to kill the Leviathan only using mithril ammunition while having no more than 25 HP through the entire fight. So I got my locator orb, I got some pineapple pizza, so it's going to give me 11 hit points per bite. And uh, yeah, hopefully this goes well. I might need more mithril arrows, but uh, I guess we'll wait and see. This is just what I've gotten off of uh, killing Leviathan. So good luck me. Fuck, I overhealed. Damn it. Oh, I landed on a falling rock, bro. That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god. I guess I didn't record the clip of me actually getting the combat achievement, um, which is kind of weird, but uh, at least I recorded all the deaths so y'all could see it. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you right now. I, I did get the combat achievement. So there we go. Yeah, there's the combat achievement complete. Uh, I am actually pretty sorry for uh, not getting that recorded. I, I could have swore I did, but uh, I guess enjoy me dying a couple times. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it. I hit 1600 kills. Let's go. Orb. Orb. Hey, we got a chromium ingot. Look at that. The first one of the grind. Just gonna AFK for a bit. I'm here in the basement of the Wizards Guild, and we're gonna try to get that zombie and champion scroll. Oh, the zombie champion scroll. Holy shit. I was I was editing and uh thank god I have the sound plugin on because I would have not freaking uh noticed it. Look at that. We got it, and we only killed uh, 392 zombies plus like what the maybe 500 or so armored zombies. So pretty spooned on that one. So I've been spooned on uh, pretty much all the uh, champion scrolls so far, besides the imp one. I've actually hit the drop rate today while it's on my phone. So we are currently dry on the imp champion scroll, but that is all right. I think the M Champion Scroll honestly is probably the worst one to go dry on because of the uh, the APM you're gonna have to be doing on the imps. So I was on my phone today and I ended up getting the Imp Champion Scroll. It was about 6,500 kills for the uh, Champion Scroll, uh, combining like the 4.5k that I got on my phone and like the that was probably close to 2,000 on my computer. So yeah. A little overrate, but not too bad at the end of the day. And there is 1,700 kills. My mic was not working, but I decided to do uh, Jogers for my new AFK grind, and it didn't last long because I got the champion scroll and less than 100 fucking kills. So, uh, yeah, pretty fucking spoon, but now I gotta find a new place to AFK. Alright, we're gonna be right at the entrance of Mauritania, killing these ghouls. That is my new AFK spot. You just set up the cannon, and then you hide behind some of these, like, uh, ferns or bushes or whatever you want to call them, and, uh, yeah, you just chill. Hey, the British rope top! Oh my god! Let's fucking go! Oh, baby. Kill count, 1766. That is uh, two out of three of the Virtus pieces. No. And I got them both at Leviathan, actually, fun fact. 
Oh god, the boss started, 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 the boss started. Alright, we're gonna just go ahead and sell these uh, robe tops, because I need money. Look at that, 864k, so um, I have enough money for like one more death, and then I'm out. So this will put me at a very secure position for the future. Sometimes I, I do be dying, because I, I get distracted easily. And there they go, they sold for 60 million flat. We'll take that, 59 million, and we'll put it right in the bank. Look at that. Orb! All right, look at that, 1,800 kills. The food is here. Yes, yeah, yeah. You yeah, got I'm the champion scroll. Oh, it's gonna time out, dude. What if it times out? Oh, hell no. Oh, oh, my. oh, 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 oh my God. Imagine. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> my God. <laughs> Yeah, we were, we were wondering. We don't know. <laughs> 30 seconds have gone by or something like that. Oh, oh, imagine. Shit. Bro, look, look. Okay, I, I'm spooned on this one again, guaranteed. You guys ready for the final count? Okay, I'm going to say 800. 800. Oh my God. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is insane. Orb. 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 Right, here we go. That is 1,900 kills, and we get a smoked quartz on it. Would you look at that? All right, I am going to do some editing, and I decided uh, instead of doing some redwoods for right now, I actually want to get a couple more collection log slots done in the uh, good old forestry section, wherever I can find that. There it is. Um, I still need the log brace so that I can combine my uh, forestry kit with the log basket. That's kind of the main goal, but uh, it would be uh, kind of cool to green log this as well. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here at the Myths Guild and chop some magic log. I need to hop to a forestry world real quick, but yeah, I'm just going to sit here, edit some videos and maybe get some collection log slots. All right. And since my... Uh, ghoul afk spot was tarnished by my luckiness i am now sitting here in level 9 wilderness killing these skeletons just afking um i'm not bringing too much risk if i do end up dying then i will pretty much just uh lose my cannonballs and i can get all this shit back from my gravestone so I'm not really risking anything besides my cannonballs oh Please. oh <laughs> well, we're done. That was what? Fucking, right? The twelve hundred fucking kills. Okay, well, we're done. <laughs> what? Easy, uh, easy. <laughs> easy, fuck, dude. It's too fucking easy. It's too fucking easy. Earth warrior scroll next. Oh Jesus Christ! Another Virtus robe top. Oh my God! What the fuck? That's a dupe. Killed 1990. I don't. I forgot when I got the other Virtus rope top. Holy shit! <laughs> Lol. Oh my god, dude, that couldn't have been like 150 KC apart at minimum. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm kind of spooned, but I will take it. And it's crazy because the Virtus rope top is actually the most expensive thing you can get from here now because the Venator ring, I believe, is like 50 mil now. So, uh. Yeah, that is a uh, pretty wicked two Virtus robe tops in this one grind. We might be sitting pretty damn good after we get the pet. All right, let's go ahead and just sell this for 59 mil. Get a quick sell off of it. Very, very pretty and nice. That brings us up to a cash stack of 109 mil. Sheesh. Oh, look at that. 2,000 kills at the end of the trip. You'll love to see it, a nice clean number and 500 kills off of uh, hitting the rate for the pet. All right, so I actually checked my forester kit and I realized I had about 4,000 anima infused bark, which means I can buy myself the log brace. And there we go, that is a collection log slot. And I can use this log brace with all of the shit that I have in my inventory. And I can create this sturdy harness, which I can use on my forestry kit. And now my forestry kit and my log basket are in the same inventory slot. Very good, very nice. We got another chromium ingot. That is the number 
two of the grind. Orb. My mic was not working, but uh, I know I said I wasn't going to go for the speed task, but my buddy Jer was nice enough to lend me his Zerite crossbow so that I could go for it real quick. And I actually got it in uh, not too long. It only took me about 20 minutes to do, but yeah, just uh, I guess enjoy a really fast little I think he'll. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Is it it? Oh hey. yeah, let's go! Let's GG, fucking go, dude. That was boy. a god run right there. That was a god fucking run. <laughs> well, that is uh, all the combat achievements for the Leviathan, besides the awakened version. Hey, Chromian ingot number three. Let's go. Oh. Hey, Leviathan's <clears throat> lure. That's number three. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, oh, wait, shit. I don't need that. I don't need three of them. Fuck. Oh, would you look at that? 2,100 kills. It's a sweet or salty. The what? Just answer the question. <laughs> I see. I see what's happening here. My response would be, I don't know. It's just gummy. Wait, what? Gummy? <laughs> yummy. Oh, okay. Oh. I was like, gummy. I'm oh. like, what the fuck is going on here? I was like, oh my god, these absolute scoundrels. I was like, are you taking it and putting some like fructose syrup or something? Like, <laughs> I see. I mean, that sounds like a decent idea. Huh? <laughs> Dude, yeah, we can call them cummy bears. <laughs> devil just said, no. <laughs> What in the world? What in the world? Come, come here, bear. That is come different. Here, bear. Oh. That is different. Come here. Holy moly! Uh. Come here, bear. I didn't know I wanted cummy bears until I found out about cummy bears. I see. Uh, some people, you know, some people do cummy uh. bear bear. So. Hey yo, what the fuck? Hey yo. <laughs> oh, hey, yo. Wait, hey yo, that just registered. What? what do you mean? I think you probably left because we got too loud. <laughs> yeah, he forgets that he's in a call until I say coming back. Yeah. <laughs> oh my <laughs> fucking god, <Kami> Bears. <laughs> just got done with the uh, branding and the intro of this series, uh, so I've just been wood cutting and I actually got myself enough anima infused bark to grab me the clothes pouch blueprint so this thing is gonna make it to where i uh don't have to wear my lumberjack outfit anymore it just goes right into my backpack so i believe i can just craft the thing if i have a uh, leather and a thread okay brb all right that is better so i can use this leather and thread with it clothes pouch blueprint we will get the clothes pouch we can put it in the forestry basket then i believe i can just use the outfit yep and we can deposit it in there so now i do not have to wear the lumberjack outfit and i still get the xp bonus which i guess it really doesn't matter at the end of the day because i am 99 but uh it'll give me the freedom to uh use some fashion scape or just uh walk around like my normal self if i want to um, I am actually going to get surgery uh, tomorrow and uh, yeah so this is going to be the last clip that you will see of me for a couple of days at least while I recover from that so uh, wish me luck and I will see you guys very soon. All right, it has been like four days or something and uh, yeah the surgery I got was uh, on uh, my teeth it was a pretty major thing so um, if you hear me talking differently it's just because I'm trying to get used to um, 
this change um but yeah all i did during those couple days is get some wood cutting xp and as you can see i'm like 20.6 million wood cutting xp so i guess that's a little milestone to show you but um other than that we can just get right back to killing leviathan orb orb oh look at that 2200 kills orb 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 oh another virtus robe top oh my god that is number three of the grind <laughs> Oh lord. Just gonna put that in for a nice smooth 52.7 million. And there we go, nice and easy. We're gonna put that right in the bank. And uh, it looks like we got like 155 mil now. Hell yeah. Or and would you look at that, 2300 kills. Didn't notice till after the trip, but there is 2400 kills. I ran out of manta rays, so I'm just gonna sit here at the Myths Guild and cook up all these raw manta rays that I have gotten from Leviathan. So I will see you guys on the flip side. And there we go. They are all cooked now, and I'm ready to go back. We have uh, almost 2,000 manta rays now. And this marks 1,000 Leviathan kills since the start of this video. 2474. 2,500 kills, which means we are now officially dry of the pet. But I guess we can look at the log so far. Three Leviathan Zulhurs, three Virtus Robe Tops, a Virtus Robe Bottom, one Vestige, and uh, seven Chromium Ingots. I think I gotten two of those from uh, Butch, though. And uh, yeah, the log is not looking too great. I should have seen, I believe, three vestiges by now, and we've only seen one. So uh, hopefully I should get one soon. There we go. Another chromium ingot. Orb. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. 2580. Let's fucking go. All right, let's go ahead and make this bad boy. Thank you very much. And there we go, it has sold for 42 million GP. I, I can't believe that it's 42 million. <laughs> like, when I got my first one, I believe it was like 90 million or something, so it's dropped down drastically. But we got ourselves 165 million in the bank now. Or 2600 kills. Oh, there we go. Very nice. So we only have one more to go. And it's the lesser demon. Let's go. If you look at that, I just hit 50 mil range experience on a lesser demon. Oh my god. Alright, been AFK in forestry a little bit more, and I got myself enough bark to get me the Twitchner's gloves, which this just gives me a uh, higher chance of getting a nest that I want, uh, either a seed, ring, or an egg nest, and I also got enough bark to get me the cape pouch, which this will uh, let me put my woodcutting cape in the forestry um, kit, but I, it doesn't really matter since... Uh, I'm wearing the max cape whenever I wood cut, and that gives me the wood cutting um, passive anyways, so it's kind of useless, but hey, collection log. Oh, look at that, a petal garland. Oh my. Okay, so that just means that I only need the golden pheasant egg from all the events. Pretty cool. Ingot orb, orb. 2,700 kills. Ingot orb. And here we are, 2,800 kills. Orb, orb, orb. Oh, I, I didn't even notice, but uh, 2,900 kills. Orb, there is the big 3,000, which means we are 500 kills dry of the pet. Orb, 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 orb. And that is 3,100 kills. Orb, orb. All right, um... I guess just a little update. I haven't really uh, mentioned it um, until this point, but uh, yeah, I'm at 3,176 kills right now, and this is what my log is looking like. I have received, uh, on the log, 21 uniques, um, up to 23, just because uh, I could be 2 out of 3 on the vestige. And uh, yeah, I recently found out about the dry calculator, and I just wanted to show that to y'all. So if we look right here on the wiki with the dry calculator, um, the chance to get a unique is a 1 in 96. There is my kill count. And uh, this is assuming that I have 2 out of 3 rolls in the vestige. Um, I have a 4.1% chance of getting 23 drops or fewer. Um, 
<laughs> and a 95, almost a 96% chance of me getting more than 23 drops. And it, it says I'm a little skeleton after being this dry. So, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is kind of crazy. And if we assume that I don't have any rolls in the vestige at this point, then, um, I have a 98% chance of <laughs> receiving more than 21 drops. So, uh. Yeah, it's not looking too great. It's not looking too great. This is definitely a uh, more of a doomed episode than a spooned, I would say, in the terms of getting the pet, because we are over it, and just getting drops in general. Uh, very doomed in both aspects. But I guess uh, another little milestone, we hit over 100,000 smoke runes now, uh, pretty much all from Leviathan drops. And um, I guess these are um, all the stacks of, like, I guess somewhat valuable drops that i've uh, obtained so far 1000 runite or about 2000 onyx bolt tips 34 awakeners orbs and they are dropping in price so much it's crazy and uh yeah this is the rest of the items uh nothing too special to talk about but i guess i'll keep chugging along oh my god a leviathan's lure number four orb orb hey there we go Venator Vestige number three at kill count 3,290. Let's fucking go. And there we go. There is the second ring of the grind. They probably dropped in price even more. 48 million. Okay, so it seems like they've uh, kind of held in value since the last one I've gotten. Bam, there we go. 47 mil. I also had to buy a bunch of more supplies, so... uh yeah, I spent 2.3 mil on more arrows, and uh, yeah, I bought some more stamina potions for about a mil. Spent 1.3 mil on divine ranging potions, and 10.5 mil on some more prayer potions. So we are now sitting at 185 million, and we still have uh, all of our uh, loot drops. So uh, yeah, once we get the pet, we're going to be looking pretty good on money. Look at that, 3,300 kills. Or my chromium ingot. All right, I uh, I wanted to hold on to them all, but uh, they just keep dropping in price so much that I it's just I, I'm gonna have to sell them all. All these awakeners orbs, they are now like at 700k each. I think when I started this video, they were still around 1 million. So within a matter of like it's been like three weeks since uh, the first clip, they've dropped like 300k. So I'm just gonna start selling them as I get them. So uh, I'm not just losing money. But we're just gonna throw these in there and get them all sold for 25 million that should put us up uh over 200 million gp now though 211 million gp orb orb and that is actually on kill count 3400 orb as you can see i am at the fishing guild right now and uh if you haven't noticed yet i have me a new little pet right here the beaver i got it on my phone today at a uh, 24 point three million xp so um no more wood cutting on the phone anymore um i will still be doing forestry to uh complete that collection log um when i'm afking on the computer but uh for now i will uh be afking on the phone at the fishing guild uh for now because i do want to get the big swordfish the big shark and the big bass yeah it's pretty cool to get another pet but that does mean i can use this fox whistle on the beaver right and i can turn my beaver into a fox if i so wish which uh i might as well do right now because i don't have any of the uh other um transmog so we'll go with the fox which uh yeah it's pretty cool i like that Orb. oh i missed it by one kill but 3500 kills which means uh we are over 2000 kills in for this video and 1000 kills dry of the pet ingot orb 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 there we go another vestige at 3576 kills there we fucking go we're starting to catch up a little bit on uh, vestige drops but i think we're still dry on some and there we go create another venator ring a free 2500 crafting xp and another 47 mil going straight into the bank and look at that there we go we're gonna put that right into the bank what does that put us at 257 mil there we go and we still have uh, all of our regular loot to go through once uh, we finally get the pet at some point 
actually just did the math and uh we are actually on rate for vestiges now so that is pretty cool we are like over halfway uh to being on rate for a fifth vestige but at this moment we are actually on rate for a vestige which is uh the first time is since i started killing the buyers and that that has happened so that is a uh, pretty cool and we are evened out between vestiges and lures now i'm still looking for that virtus mask i'm i'm hoping to get that during this grind because if i do then vardorvis will be green logged as well so um looking forward to that 3600 kills ingot all right was doing some forestry while i was eating and i got myself enough anima infused bark to get me the funky shaped log just in time because i have the pet now so there we go the funky shaped log now i can use this on the uh on the fox and uh well i can't use it on the fox um uh, so I can change it to the beaver and then I can use it on the beaver. Yeah, now I can use uh, whatever log I want on the beaver and it will change colors. I think I'm going to keep it at the fox for now, but uh, I do think if I am going to have it at the beaver that I'll probably have it as the uh, magic beaver. Because it do look like that, you know little cool but i do like the fox the fox is pretty cool but we just have the felling axe and the forestry outfit recolor to get and the golden pheasant egg to be able to green log forestry Dang it! oh i am an i am one kill off again but uh 3700 kills orb another ingot would you look at that running a little bit low on food so um while i eat food i'm going to cook food see how that works but also i just noticed but uh 400 mil total xp so that's a kind of a milestone i guess so that's a uh, pretty cool i am manifesting Ooh. rune arrows this kill yeah. oh my god oh. you got rune arrows I, I got the rune arrows <laughs> nice <laughs> i i haven't been excited about a drop <laughs> in so long. You're being happy about fucking rude arrows for someone else. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're going insane, bro. Bro, it's the duality. Uh... Orb. Orb. Oh, I I man, I've been just speeding through these kills. Uh thirty eight hundred kills. Ooh. There we go. Orb! Orb! Oh my god, look at that. 3,900 kills. I am a fucking pro. I just got a, uh, notification telling me I hit 60 million ranged XP. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're gaining a lot of ranged XP. Orb! <laughs> oh, there is the Leviathan's lure number th five, I believe. Is it five? Yep, number five. And here we are. A very clean number of 4,000 kills. I did not expect to get this far, but here we are, and uh, we shall keep going. Oh, there we go. Vestige number five. Where's the Venator at now? 50 mil, it's going up. Let's go. 49 mil. There we go. And I am now up to 288 mil in cash. Let's fucking go. Orb. 4100 kills. Would you look at that? Orb. Ing it. Oh, end of the trip and we're at 4200 kills. Orb. So I was uh, fishing on my phone today and I ended up getting the big shark uh, after about like 4600 sharks that I caught. But I was using the rod as blessing. So a little bit under that. So, uh. I have fished sharks in the past, but um, I would say I was still a little bit under rate, if not just right on rate. So not too bad of a collection log slot. Rune arrows. Nothing. Give it to me. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? How did it still spawn there with fucking boulders right there? Wait, what? What the fuck? Yeah. Dude, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what? None. Yeah, dude, that was, that was wicked. Orb. Okay, oh, I got an orb on such a scuffed fucking that's kill. Right. Okay, all right. Orb. Oh, 4,500 kills and we get a rogue bottom on the... F oh, it's 4,400 kills. I thought it was 45. We get a Virtus rogue bottom on the 4,400th kill. So that is a, a pretty, cool, uh, pretty cool little drop to get on a milestone. I will take that proudly. 
Oh, and we got a vestige on the same fucking trip. Oh my god, we're eating this fucking trip. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Vestige number six. <laughs> oh my god. Give me the fucking ring. There we go. Uh, they're 54 mil. They're actually going up in price, which is really nice. But man, this is going to be a really nice haul. Uh, for one trip, I've made like 70 million or some shit. Maybe even 80 million at this point. Let me see. 81 million in one trip, uh, not including all the stuff that uh, the regular drops. That is fucking crazy. And uh, yeah, I'm only at 266 mil right now because I decided uh, now that I have money... I'm going to uh, start doing my tree runs again so that I have a chance to get the farming pet in the future. Uh, so yeah, I spent a little bit of money on that, but um, nevertheless, we have 347 million in raw cash right now, and we still have a shit ton of normal supplies that I have not touched. So uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome once uh, we finally get this pet. But I guess we can take another look at the collection log. 4,403 kills, 6 vestiges, 3 vertus robe tops, 2 bottoms, still missing the mask, 5 lures, and of course a bunch of orbs and ingots. Still waiting for the elusive pet drop. And I guess a little update since the last time I showed you the dry calculator. Last time I showed you, I was extremely dry on drops. Um, but we, um, are now evening it out a little bit. We are getting, uh, it's still a little bit dry, but we are, uh, definitely a lot less than, uh, than before. A 62.9% chance that I would have received more than 43, but, uh, considering I was at like a 90 plus percent chance of receiving more than whatever drops I had, uh, that is a big improvement and I'm, I'm happy they're starting to roll in a little bit. Orb, orb. Oh wait, that is uh 4,500 kills, isn't it? Yeah, 4,500. I'm uh I'm averaging 100 kills uh on the low end every day, and then on days that I have off, I'm getting around 200 and maybe even pushing over 200 kills. So, but I, I think if we average it all out, it'll it'll be around 100. Uh, cause they're has been a couple days where I didn't get many kills or I was recovering from surgery. So um, I guess we'll look at an average at the end of the video. That might seem uh, pretty interesting to look at. My mic was not working, but I had one of the greatest recoveries in Leviathan history. I went to go stun it and I was not far enough and um, I could not get back to the back in time. And this was just such a great recovery by me and it was on like a really fast uh, phase and I got the stun off and went to go to the back and then I got hit by a fucking boulder. I was so pissed. I was so pissed. Orb. Orb. Oh, would you look at that? Another 5 million XP milestone. 65 million range XP. And look at that. 4,600 kills on the dot. Not what I want to see, but I believe that is Leviathan's lure number six. Oh, look at that. 4,700 kills. Oh, chromium ingot. Would you look at that? Orb. Oh, would you look at that? 4,800 kills. It seems inevitable now that I will reach double the drop rate for the pet. But that is all right. I knew what I signed up for when I made this series, and uh, we shall keep going. Orb. Oh, rank 100. Let's go. Orb. Oh, 4,900 kills. Orb. 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 All right. We are officially double the drop rate. 5,000 Leviathan kills, and uh, doesn't seem like this grind is going to end anytime soon. All right, and here is the collection log for 5,000 kills. Uh, we're pretty much uh, the same as the last time I showed you. I think I have an extra uh, chromium ingot and a Le leviathan's lure, but uh, yep, six leviathan's lures, six vestiges, 18 ingots, three vertus robe tops, two vertus robe bottoms, and 122 awakeners orbs. And uh, yeah, this is what the regular loot tab is looking like. I mean, if we go any more dry on this, we might reach a coal stack of 100,000, which boot. I mean, that'd be kind of cool to see. And uh, I guess other than that, um, I haven't really mentioned it, but I've been doing all these clues and I actually have over 100 clue caskets stacked up for whenever I do get the pet. So uh, plenty of dopamine to be gained in the future. Or Oh, Venator Vestige number seven coming in. Very hot, very nice. Oh, a Virgis Robe Top. 
Dude, this happened last time. I got the Virtus Robe Bottom and the Vestige in the same trip. But now I get the Virtus Robe Top and the Vestige in the same trip. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is fucking crazy. The fucking luck is insane right now. Now I just need to get the pet. Please, fucking god. Let this end. All right, there we go. Another Venator ring. How much are they worth now? 53 million. They are holding. They are holding. Okay, so this is going to be uh, over 100 mil uh, trip, which is fucking insane. Imagine making 100 mil in just one trip. Damn, Virtus Robe Top. We're going to sell that for 58 mil. And the Venator Ring, we're going to sell for 52. Boom. And boom. Oh, 109 mil off of the trip. We're going to put that right in the bank. And what does that give us? 451 mil in raw cash and we obviously still have all the uh, regular loot too so uh yeah we just need to get the pet now we're gonna be sitting really fucking good just give me the pet give me the pet give me the pet all right i have the money now and i'm going to do it just because uh i am going to be using this item in the next spoon or doomed episode as well and it is the uh, Zerite crossbow. We're going to buy this back. It is at a low price right now for about a 410 mil. And it is currently rising a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and invest in it now while it's low. Hopefully it raises in value by the time I am done with it. And uh, yeah, I'll be using it in the next video, which is going to be Phantom Muspa. But it is also a best in slot here. Yeah, I've been using the T-Bow the whole time, which is like by far like not the best in slot. I think you're better off using the Bofa. The Xerite Crossbow is going to help us out a lot. Maybe get some faster kills and uh, hopefully uh, beat up this endeavor to get the pet. And I will also need a Twisted Buckler. So we're going to go ahead and buy that for 20 million as well. All right. Right, and after purchasing all that, we are left with 23 million in the bank, but it is a good investment to have. We're also going to bring uh, the blowpipe because I believe it is better DPS after the Leviathan is below 450 uh, HP. So yeah, we're going to try this out and uh, see how we like it. And if we feel like the blowpipe isn't really doing much, then uh, we'll just take it out of the setup. All right. And as you can see, I was on my phone today and I ended up getting the big swordfish after going almost two times the rate for it. And then uh, shortly after, like 26 bass in, we got the uh, the big bass. So uh, yeah, that is all the big fish, I believe. Yep. All the big fish are done. So uh, now I can just spend my days uh, trying to get the heroin pet by... Uh, Farming up some Kabam Bams. I'm actually going to stack up a whole bunch of these uh, Karim um, I think I'm going to get like a 200k stack. And then I'll start uh, fishing some Kabam Bams in the meantime while I'm on my phone. But uh, yeah, just a little update there on the uh, little fishing grind. Oh, okay. We are, we're a little over, but 5,100 kills. As you can see, I uh, stopped using the Web Weaver because I'm using the uh, Blowpipe now. And I'm still bringing the Tebow for whenever I stun Leviathan. Um, this gives me the uh, highest chance for biggest sh damage uh, during the uh, back attack. So yeah, no more Web Weaver for me. And uh, the kills are actually going a little bit faster. I think I'm averaging about 25 kills an hour now compared to like to the 21 to 22 I was getting with just the uh, Tebow. So. Yeah, it's going a little bit faster. Not too bad. Hey, 69 million range XP. Nice. We are 5,200 kills. And as on character, I am one kill off. But uh, yep, 5,200 kills. Orb. Orb. And look at that. 5,300 kills. Orb. Orb. And look at that. 5,400 Leviathan kills. Orb. 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 Woo! 5,500 kills. And that definitely means that... Uh, that marks 4,000 kills into this video. And it has been like, it's been like 500 kills since I've seen a unique. So definitely two out of three on the vestige, right? Should be seeing one pretty soon. Orb, orb, orb. Ingot. Hey, another ingot. Orb. 5,600 kills. Let's go. Orb, orb. Ho, 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 ho. 5,700 kills. Oh, Venator Vestige. That's what I'm talking about. You know, the uh, the last time I got a Venator Vestige, I uh, got a Virtus Robe top um, in the same trip. And the time before, um, the Vestige before that, I got a Virtus Row bottom in the same trip. So this trip, I'm surely bound to get a Virtus mask 
in the same trip. That just makes sense to me, right? Okay, well, sadly, no Virtus Mask. I really, uh, I really had a feeling it was coming, but either way, we get to sell this vestige and get ourselves a juicy, like, probably 50 mil. Now, the ring made, how much do they cost at the moment? 50 mil, okay, still holding in price. I believe they dropped a little bit. I think the last one I sold was, like, 54 mil. But we will sell it, and we'll get that juicy 48 mil, and, uh, our cash stack is a little low right now, but... With that sell, we now have 57 mil. My only concern is getting the pet after like five to 600 kills of not getting a vestige because at that point, yes, I'll have the pet, but I'll feel obligated to stay until I get the vestige, if that makes sense. Because that's just like a free 50 mil just uh, waiting to be snatched up. But uh, yeah, onward and upward I go. Or 5,800 kills. Yes! Yes! Let's fucking go! It's fucking done! <gasps> yes! We are done! 5,880 kills! Oh! Oh my god, I was totally not expecting it. Get me the fuck out of here! Yes! Yes! Oh, and and we get a count check to top it all off. Give me that XP lamp, putting it right into Erdlore, baby. Oh my fucking god. Come here, my little baby boy. Look at him. Oh my god, the thing I've been waiting for for it's been like six weeks, I believe. Oh my god. Oh, so fucking worth it though. Look at that boy. That is two out of four desert treasure two bosses done. And the second episode of Spoon or Doom coming to a close. The only thing left to do is to sell the loot tab. Oh my god. All right, we're just going to take a final look at the collection log. And look at that Leviathan. We got everything in the log besides the Virgis Mask. I figured I would have seen one by now. Um, but, but here we are. So that is... Uh, Two Desert Treasure 2 bosses, uh, green logged but not green logged because of Virtus Mask, and uh, eight vestiges, six uh, Leviathan lures, four Virtus Robe Tops, two Virtus Robe Bottoms, 20 Chromium Ingots, and a plethora of Awakener's Orbs. And the loot tab from all 5,800 of those kills uh, is looking like this. It says uh, 664 mil, but it is not counting the value that we are getting from the vestiges. So um, I guess you can add 50 mil for each of those. So another 400 mil. So a total of about one bill um, in today's current economy. I did get one vestige and a decent amount of Awakener's Orbs uh, when the boss first came out. So I probably made a little over that. But all in all, um, about one bill was made from this boss alone and uh this very long endeavor holy shit now i have been holding on to uh pretty much like 95 percent of all these drops i had to sell some at the beginning to uh recover some death fee costs but at the end of the day i i did hold on to most of it and uh yeah it's uh quite a bit of stuff out for there for a second i thought i was gonna get um to a hundred thousand uh stack of coal did not end up happening uh which is uh, good for me i was i was kind of looking forward to the 100k stack but uh at the end of the day i am not too worried about it and these uh rune arrows are gonna go to jair so i'm gonna hold on to those for him but yeah let's just go ahead and sell off all this shit and after selling off all the items it looks like we got 164 mil and uh, gold from just the regular jobs that we obtained, which is a uh, pretty fucking awesome. Um, we can also sell the web weaver bow again, cause uh, yeah, we do not need it anymore. We actually didn't need it for a while now after we got the ZCB. So let's go ahead and uncharge that and sell it. 183 mil after the web weaver, very nice. And we're just gonna get one good last look at our rank for Leviathan the end of the video a whole bunch of bots uh threw me out of the top 100 but we are coming into a close at rank 107 i might come back in the future to get a nice clean 6,000 kills i think that would be uh cool to have just a nice clean number but for now we're gonna stop right there 
All right, and for the end of the video, we are going to be opening up all of these caskets. It looks like I got like 144 caskets. Uh, so we're bound to get um, a couple of masters. Hopefully, I'm able to do them. The one I currently have is a fighter torso, and I refuse to pay for it or go to Barbarian Assault. So, um, yeah, we're just going to leave that on the ground, but it's five steps in. So the first master will be easy enough to do, but we're going to start off with the beginners and work our way up. All right, and only one collection log from the frog slippers, which is, eh, it's not too bad. Oh, I guess I should, uh, I guess I should look at the clues. The beginners, we've only gotten the frog slippers and the bare feet, so we we're pretty much looking for everything right there easy we haven't done that many we've only gotten four collection log slots so i'm expecting a uh, a decent amount of uh collection log slots from this the mediums we did open up quite a bit still missing the ranger boots so that's pretty much the only thing i'm looking out for there the hard clues the only thing i really want from here is probably just like the robin hood hat i think that'd be pretty cool or the dragon boots ornament kit um and just any collection log slot really and then the elites, I have 5 out of 59, and I've gotten the Dragon Scimitar ornament kit, so any of the, uh, I guess the Fury ornament kit would actually be pretty cool to have, and uh, other than that, just any collection log slots is pretty cool at the end of the day. And Master Clues, I've only gotten two. I've gotten the Anguish Ornament Kit, which, uh, that's a pretty nice one to have. I would like to get a Torture one and also an Occult one, uh, at some point. The tortured ornament kit wouldn't be too bad either, um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep going and opening up all these clues. We're gonna continue on with the easy caskets. Oh, we got the ham joint. I forgot that was a thing. The ham joint's actually worth a little bit, yeah? Yeah, it's 2.1 mil. That's pretty dope. The little combo and yeah. But uh, that is all the easies. We got the ham joint. I totally forgot about that thing. But uh, yeah, the ham joint's a pretty cool one to get. And uh, we are getting quite a bit of collection log slots. We're starting off at 512 for these. So we'll see how many... Uh, we get by the end of these uh, openings. But we're moving on to the mediums now. We got 27 of them. Oh, and there is the first master clue of the grind. We're gonna go ahead and drop it. Another master clue, okay. Yes, Ranger Boots! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> yes! Nice! Oh my god! Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That was that was the one thing that I wanted. That was the one thing I wanted from the mediums, and we fucking got them. That's an extra 30 mil added on top of it all. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna do uh, the master clue real quick, and then uh, we'll be right back. Well, I guess two master clues. Alright, both the master caskets done. I'm going to continue on with these hard clues. All right, and that is it for the hard clues. The hard clues definitely uh, came in clutch right there. A lot of, a lot of collection logs for the hard clues. All right, and now we have 21 elite caskets. Ooh, the dragon square shield ornament kit, okay. 
Not the ornament kit I wanted, but we are not going to complain. Uh, this is overall a win-win because I did get the ranger boots that I wanted. Last elite and we get a top hat. That is what I'm talking about. All right, we got two more master clues to do and then we're gonna open up all these master caskets that I got. Better torso steps. So that is uh, one master that I am not able to do, but that is okay. We still have uh, three masters that we're gonna open up right now. And then uh, I guess we're gonna wrap up the video if I can click on the right teleport and not go to miscellaneous. All right, and three master caskets. That took me quite a while to do, but here we go. And no collection log slots, but that is all right. I do like collecting the, the purple sweets. I wonder what my stack is at now after all these uh, clues. 634, not too bad, not too bad. But all right, I am going to go ahead and uh, sell off all the shit that I got from the clues. And I will uh, be back with a new GP count. All right, and the uh, two uh, pretty cool items to sell uh, for the last of it is the Ranger Boots for 30 mil. And the Ham Joint for a nice smooth 2 mil which is going to bring our total up to 78 mil. Although I did have to buy some items for the master casket. It was the Bryo uh, Fida staff and the Zamorakian God sword. So that was probably like 36 mil or somewhere around there. I'm just going to do 40 mil for a nice safe clean count about 38 mil. Um, from all of the clues but we can look at the loot logger as well and uh see a more accurate number of what i got all right so uh 100k from the beginners 2.3 mil from the easies pretty much all of it being the ham joint 31 mil from the mediums which most of it was just from the ranger boots and then the hard clues we got 8.6 mil um and the elites we got 4.8 mil and the masters we got 1.2 mil so yeah it adds up it adds up to about 48 mil on the loot logger but there are some things that i didn't sell like the purple sweets so uh yeah that makes sense to me but we are ending off with the 273 mil cash stack along with the zerite crossbow and the twisted buckler totaling up to almost 700 million gold and now for the little stats that uh i have lined up for this video uh first off we started this video at 1473 leviathan kills and ended off with 5880 kills which totals up to 4407 kills uh in this video alone now i started killing leviathan on march 31st and when i got the pet it was may 12th so that equals out to 43 days of just straight up leviathan killing although a couple of days um i was recovering from surgery so it was probably about 40 days of killing leviathan and if we divide that 4407 kills that i got from this video with the 40 days that I did spend here, I was averaging 110 kills um, every day, which is, uh, I was getting about, uh, for most of the grind, I was getting about 20 to 22 kills an hour, but there at the end, I was pushing 25 whenever I got the Zerite crossbow. So I was definitely doing, on average, five hours a day, which, uh, I mean, the days that I had off, I definitely was pulling 10 to 12 hours so that was definitely uh helping out the average go up a little higher and if we look at the dry calculator um it says that for my kill count and the drop rate of the leviathan pet it says that 90.48 percent um of people would have gotten a pet by that point so uh we were definitely a little dry for the pet, but at the end of the day, we did make a lot of money. And uh, the Leviathan's actually not a bad boss to fight. It's very engaging and keeps you on your toes and stuff. So I wasn't just going brain dead the whole time killing it like you might do for some other bosses. And uh, going to the wise old man and plugging in uh, the day that I started Leviathan and the day that I ended, it looks like I gained... 33.6 mil ranged xp and 11 mil hit points xp which is honestly just fucking crazy that's a lot of ranged xp but i think that's 
about all the stats that I have for you. Not too many, but just some, just a couple little stats that um, I find a little interesting. And I, I mentioned it before earlier in the video, but I believe my next stop is the Phantom Muspa, although that may change, but that's where I think I'm heading next. But yeah, uh, these videos take quite a while to make. Like this one is like six weeks in the making. So uh, if you like the video, make sure to uh, subscribe and like it. Really helps with the algorithm and makes me feel good. But uh, other than that, my name is Foley. Make sure to join the new CC if you're looking for a clan Amore Mio. Um, uh, Discord of it will be linked in the description of the video. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.